Hello, and welcome to the first Tech It tutorial. This one's called The Dark Room. The basic principle of e infinite EMC generation is that after a one time initial setup fee, it automatically produces EMC from nothing. Right, now as you can see, I am laying out the foundations for this. There is a reason I am using dirt, is because of the principle of a dark room is that when you grow crops in the dark, they will instantly become seeds and flowers. And the cost of bone meal is 48 EMC or so. Now the principle is that it makes more EMC than it uses up. Now, whilst you can just stand in the dark room all day, right clicking with some bone meal in your hands, this is, is the way to make an automated system. As you can see, I've got the foundations almost complete. I'm just laying out the dirt. And it does need to be grass blocks rather than just dirt blocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Philosopher's Stone to make this into grass. After I finish building it, of course. However, I do suck at building whilst recording because there's a lot of pressure put on me. Not to screw up. This is the first of what I'll hope to be many uh, tech tutorials. As you can see, there's a ton of slimes because I just made a flatland build. However, there's a fence to keep them up there at least. I'm sorry if you hear too much slapping going on in the background. But I can assure you that is definite slimes. Definite slimes. There you go. All grass blocks now. Bone meal will not work on plain dirt blocks, it has to be grass blocks. Right, now the machines we're going to use are from Red Power, and they are called Deployers, Filters, and Transposers. We'll also be using some redstone tubes, and from equivalent exchange we shall be using some energy condensers. Energy condensers can just make one thing into another autom automatically, as long as it has one copy of the thing it's making in the top left slot. Right, now here I am marking out where all the transposers in the ceiling will go, and the deployer at the bottom will go. I, however, did not prepare for this and had nothing on me. As you can see, I'm just screwing about with my inventory currently. Oh crap, it's getting dark. I have nothing to blow up. And there you go, the first one, the deployer. What the deployer will do, it basically automatically right clicks for you. I need it pointing up, so you get a screwdriver or a sonic screwdriver. Just right click until you see that the brown bit is facing up. Now with the deployers, you want them to be facing down. So as you can see, that plus type heads needs to be facing down. Now, be warned, if you stand on them, you will fall through them. It's currently a glitch. Whilst 4 isn't completely necessary, it's just in case you accidentally make too many entities, which are the floating things, and it likes to. And if you're a redstone tubes, these tubes are really smart. They will carry things to the nearest chest available, and if it's full, they'll carry it to the next chest. Be warned, however, having too many items in them can lag your world, and dark rooms will produce a bit of lag, reducing your FPS by about 10, which can be quite bad. It should be fine on servers, though, except for the person hosting them. Now, here you go. Here is... I don't know. Am I not going to do it yet? There you go. An energy condenser. As you can see, I'm just finishing off the redstone tubing. Transposers will just pick up anything within a two block vicinity of them, I think it is. So as you can see, I did not need four, however, it's just in case. Okay, the redstone tubing is about finished. And I put the condenser in the wrong place. Now to take things out of the condenser, you need a filter. Now what the filter does is just takes a specific item out. A transposer could also take an item out. However, it would take out the milk, no, the 
the seeds and stuff that would be going into it, which we do not want. As they will be going into the deployer to be right clicked on the grass blocks. As you can see, I'm getting some bone meal. Now, if you put just one bone meal in here, it'll take up one bone meal per tick from the energy condenser. And what I mean by per tick is soon I'm going to be setting up a timer system by which you can just right click on the timer and set how often it sends a redstone pulse. And that redstone pulse, which I will hook up to the redstone tubes, can carry a redstone signal to the transposers and the deployer, which means that it keeps on right clicking and picking up the items and right clicking and picking up the items. Also, the filter will keep extracting stuff. Now, here we are, I'm setting up the timer. You need some red alloy wire and a jacketed wire, it doesn't matter which jacketed wire. Now, the reason one condenser is further away is because they're so smart, they'll go to the nearest chest, as I mentioned. So, when that one chest is full, it will go to that chest. Now, the minimum tick rate you can have is 0 0.450 seconds. Anything other than that, and it doesn't work properly. As you can see, there's no resonance in front of those. So you put down more jack to cable, and everything's working. As you can see, there's seeds and flowers coming out of the top. They'll be going into the first condenser as its closest, and producing more bone meal. As you can see, this is made an infinite system. Now, this is just for the overflow chest, but... Oh, also, you can speed it up by ch chucking stacks of diamonds in there. There's also another method, which I will show later. But, this is probably the quickest. Alright, you can see it's full of EMC. Now, the seeds are going to the next oh, chest, which is not full, which has a diamond in it. So, over time, all those seeds will be making diamonds. It's a pretty quick rate. However, it's also replenishing the bone meal in the other chest at the same time. Uh, where did the audio? Where did the video go? Okay, I'm not sure what happened there, but I'm not sure what I did just then either. Um, all right, I'm going to show you what ha what the inside of it looks like. Basically, you can see how this only works in the dark because if you let light in, then um, you can just about make that out, but in the darkness it works and in the light it doesn't. So you need to make sure it's pitch black in there. And as soon as you shut it, it'll just keep on going. And yeah, that's the basic principle. I'm not sure if I show it, but there's also another thing you can do whereby you put one bone meal in each slot of the chest and that will fill it up. I'm not sure where all my video footage has gone currently. But anyways, that is how to make Infinite EMC, the very first version. I hope you enjoyed, like if it helped, comment if you have any problems or issues. As you can see, just fill each slot with a single bone meal and then the condenser won't take it out and as one stack goes it'll keep refilling and replenishing the bone meal stock and you'll get diamonds really fast and I don't know why the video's gone goodbye